as well as being able to access and download files within your uh, DocSafe, you're able to securely send in files in the opposite direction. So if you wish to upload or send files in, um, this is how you do it. If you open, if you log in, of course, and then go to one of your file folders within DocSafe, you'll notice the, these are, this is your normal screen here with the um, files that have been placed in there for you to access. If you want to exchange files and give one back or upload, use the upload icon there. And when you hover over it, it says upload documents. The machine will first of all check to see you have the latest version of Java. If you do, um, then you can go straight in. If not, it will download the latest version for you. If you have any issues whilst loading this screen up, refer to the home screen or the help video um, about how to upgrade your version of Java. So we're in the upload screen here and what it's asking us to do is upload a file into the accounts folder. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to click the browse button. This will then um, look on the PC that you're on and you can find any file or files by highlighting them or indeed an entire folder and then upload. You'll notice that this file it then appears on the screen, gives you the total size and asks you to click the upload button to start. So if we upload that, it's now been transferred in. And you can see there that's been up updated today. To update another or upload another document, we'll go back in again to the same screen, but this time we'll use a different technique to upload you're able to drag and drop so if you go to your PC and interrogate within um, Windows what you're able to do is to drag any file or number of files from your PC into DocSafe and what I've done there is I've picked up two files and I'm just dropping them in the grey box they're the two files. You can go back and choose more. Um, whilst we're on this screen and before we actually do the upload, you will also notice here other options. So if you want to overwrite a file that is already there, and you have the right to do that, you can. And also you have an option to email a staff member to tell that particular person the file is um, available. So when you upload, an email will automatically go if you choose one of these staff members here. They will, that will go. If you want to put something in and you don't want anybody to know or to be notified, then just leave it um, as it currently stands, select from list and no email will go out. So if you press return on, uh, sorry, upload here, those two um, files that we have uh, dragged and dropped um, will begin to be transferred up. They're quite large files so they may take some time. So you can see there that the first one has been uploaded and the second one is currently uploading. And when that's finished, I will simply return and you'll notice in the accounts folder they're the three files that I've uploaded. And from that point, your um, whoever you've uh, notified will, will know that those files are for, their for, for access for their purposes and they can go in and get it.